Be sure to use power seeds and power juice together. Their timer is the same, so when you get the notification that the power juice wore off, you can take both again. My main strategy here was to focus on the legs to knock Red Kezu down, and then go for the head. With power juice, you can stay in demonized mode for as long as it lasts. Apart from that, you just have to avoid being hit as much as you can, heal close to max health, and sharpen when you drop too low. When Kezu jumps to the ceiling, you can try to stand somewhere under it to bait it to come back down. Just be sure you don't get hit by him falling down or by the saliva, as both will deal pretty considerable damage. You can just wait for him to drop as well, but this may take some time. Be very careful not to overcommit with your combos. Dual blades can easily get away from you if you press your attack buttons too many times. A normally short combo and fast roll away can turn into a big moment of vulnerability if you accidentally do the next part of the combo. Something I would do a lot is use the circle move, as it hits multiple times and you can often roll away easier than with the triangle hits. Remember that in demonized mode you do the spin twice, and can roll away after either the first or second spin. If Kezu starts to roar, if you're close enough, you should be able to get into demon hands. If you take too long to get to him, consider doing something faster like the circle move or even just the first triangle hit. Make sure once you drop to yellow sharpness that you get back into blue. Green is fine and it lasts a while, but you don't want to be in yellow. 
If you really want, you can sharpen back to blue from green each time. Your call. Fighting Kezu outside of a cave can be nice, just be careful. He can be a bit more aggressive and mobile out here. Avoid taking damage as much as you can and heal close to max HP if you do get hit. Losing the kitchen buff means losing 40 extra HP, which might help save you from getting one shot. When he uses a shock AoE attack, run up after and use a circle move. Be very careful with your timing here. Too soon and you'll get hit. Too late and he might do it again, which might hit you. When he's enraged, the window to attack here is even shorter. If you think you don't have time for a circle attack, just do one hit of the triangle instead. Get a feel for it.
If you're running low on supplies, the delivery can be very helpful. Keep it in mind, it should arrive around 15 minutes after the quest starts. If you run out of power juices and potions, or are worried that you might, consider bringing materials to craft more during the quest. Come prepared, or you may return disappointed. Kezo has always been a pretty difficult fight, and it can definitely be a wall here just like in the village quests. Keep trying, try to play better, smarter, safer. Try different things if you think what you're doing isn't working. Remember that this isn't impossible, and you can do this. Good luck.